Control Net has been such a big part of AI image generation for quite a few months now. And today, I want to show you how to install it in Automatic 11.11. Now, by chance, if you don't have Automatic 11.11 installed, make sure to check out the video in the description below. Otherwise, this video won't make any sense. <laughs> For the rest of you, once you start up Automatic 11.11, on the top tab here, you're going to see a section for extensions. Click on that. And just below, we have some sub tabs here. By the way, you can check for updates here. So every now and then, just click on this and make sure all the extensions that you have installed are updated here. Right beside the Installed tab here, click on Available. And we're simply going to click on Load From. If for some reason you don't have this link in this extension URL box, I'll leave it in the description below. But it should be populated by default. So let's click on Load From. Instead of scrolling for it, we're just going to enter control net in here and we're going to look for, huh, interesting. For whatever reason, I don't see it in here, which is very odd. So the other thing we're going to do here is install from URL. So I'm simply going to paste the link in here. If the same thing happens to you, there should have been an option to install SD web UI control net for whatever reason, it's not showing up in my available folder here. So we could simply paste it there and then click install. It shouldn't be too long as you see here, it's processing. So that means the installation is happening. And then you see at the bottom here where control net was installed. Then we're gonna go back to the install tab here. We wanna double check for updates. And we see here that we have the latest versions. And then all you have to do is click apply and restart UI. Once the UI is reset, if we scroll down a little bit here, we're going to see a section for control net. We click on this arrow. There's a drop down for all the control net settings. However, we can't use it just yet as we have to download the models for it. Where you can find the models is on Hugging Face. And it's really up to you if you want to download all of them. Each file is 1.45 gigabytes. Personally, I'm going to download all of them myself. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to show you three. And the main ones for basic control net posing are depth. Also, make sure you're downloading the .pth file. And also click the arrow to download it as opposed to right clicking and save as. Just below is canny, which detects edges and outlines. So we're going to download that one too. And then we have the open pose model here. Let's download that as well. Now we're going to put those files in the appropriate location. So head over to your stable diffusion UI folder. It should be stable diffusion web UI. And within this folder, you'll see a folder for extensions. You want to open up that folder. If you've done a fresh install, most likely you'll only have this one called SD web UI control net. Let's go ahead and open that folder. And then we just need to find the models folder and open that one up too. Now you're already going to see all the YAML files for control net. So there was no need to download them earlier from hugging face. And then finally we can go to our downloads folder or wherever you've downloaded these files. I'm just going to select them all and then push them up to this folder here, drag them into there, and you'll see that they'll be populated in this folder. And we see them highlighted here. If I change my perspective here, you see that they're highlighted in gray. And now let's do a restart on Automatic 11.11. Now on top of Control Net, there are all these other extensions that we can also add. So let's go back to our extensions here. Let's click on Available and Load From. And we're going to do the same thing that we did earlier and search for control net. But these are all extensions that work with control net. So we have the QR code generator, the open pose editor, segment anything, which I'll talk about again in a different video. But I encourage you to install all of these. So I'm just going to hit install for this one and go down the list. And then we'll cover them in future videos. It doesn't take very long to install them. See, I'm just knocking through them just a few seconds for most of them. Once you're through that list, go back to installed, click on check for updates. 
everything is the latest. So we're gonna again hit apply and restart UI. Now you're gonna notice at the top you have even more tabs up here. But the ones I wanted to highlight is the open pose editor. There's also a 3D model section. Let's say you have a 3D model from Daz 3D or something like that. Or you can use this 3D open pose interface as well. You can move around, pose the subject, even down to the hands and the fingers. And then we have in paint anything and QR code. Now that the models are loaded, let's do a couple of test runs here. Now I'm not going to go in depth on control net today, but I'll definitely dive deeper in a future video. I'm just going to set my aspect ratio here, 640 by 832. We're just going to go with 25 steps and our prompt will be man in a suit, just something super simple. And I'm using rev animated. Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> and then we're going to go down here to the drop down on control net. And first we need to upload the posing image that we want to use. So I'm going to use this one. You want to click on enable. You can click on allow preview if you'd like. And if you have a weaker graphics card, you could use low VRAM. And the first one we'll do is Kenny. As I said, it focuses on edges and outlines. We'll leave all the default settings for now and we'll leave the control mode on balanced. And yeah, everything looks good. Let's go ahead and generate this first example. Here's a preview images. Not bad for a simple prompt and really default settings. And as I said earlier, you see the map here. Everything in white is the edges, the outline of the subject. We'll use the same image and change this to depth. And let's generate this image. Here's the image using depth. You'll notice it doesn't pick up the hands as well as edge did. And if we look at the depth map, you'll notice the hand here is a bit more white than everything else in the backgrounds in black. That's basically how depth works. It looks at the foreground, the middle ground in the background. And then we'll take a look here at open pose for the last example. And here's the open pose example. And you'll notice that it's a very different photo, mainly because it just focuses on the pose. With edge, it could still look like the original photo as well as depth. But pose, as the name suggests, just focuses on, you know, where the arm is, where the shoulder is, the body, that kind of thing. And the background's even totally different compared to the others. And if we look at the posed map, I think you can call it, this is basically what it focuses on to create the image. Pretty self-explanatory, right? So I've got a lot of content to cover on Controlnet alone. I also wanna cover the forum. Let me know in the comments below which one you want me to cover first, but I'll eventually get to all of them. In the meantime, if you happen to be new to this channel and you're looking to install Automatic 11.11, Make sure to check out this video and until the next one, I'll see you when I see you.